Hey friends, subscribers, internet strangers, stuck in a wormhole. Welcome to the Bearded Pickles channel. This is me, Scott, your host. So coming to you tonight uh, from a hotel in Roswell, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. Um, in case anybody didn't tell you, this is clearance season. And clearance is abundant everywhere. This is your uh, warning notice. Get out and buy this stuff. Do your research. Buy at a good price. Um, my minivan will hold 14 large boxes. And this is what I bought today. Oh, you can see my suitcase too. There are, there's 14 large. Uh, it's just been crazy today. I ended up going to 18 stores. Um, I don't know exactly how much I spent, uh, but that's just one of the things I'm gonna talk about. Uh, Moving forward, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little different information starting on my next video, which is probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try to do a better job of arranging my trips and playlists so it's easier to find the entire, you know, this is Atlanta, probably going to Charlotte next, and Raleigh-Durham, and then if I'm not too tired, farther north, Richmond, maybe Baltimore. But it just to tell you how many stores I've made it to, how much money I spent, and then what Inventory Lab says the potential profit is, and how many items, so you guys can get an understanding of how much stuff is out here and how much stuff just one person can purchase, one one person can do. Um, you're probably wondering, where the hell have you been? <laughs> Fourth quarter is, is very overwhelming, and it is hard to, to do anything other than, than work. And so I spent a lot of time working. And then once the working was over, probably around the 14th of December, I've taken some time to relax, just contemplate, think, and plan. Guys, I can't tell you how important it is to plan, to think about your business. Because if you think this business doesn't change, you are wrong. You know, each eBay does a a spring and fall update for sellers. Uh, Amazon is, seems to be headed that way. They've got some, a big fee change coming. Uh, looks like an increase in fees of 18 to 20% what it looks like to me. I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, sorry about that, but that's what it looks like um, for the handling fees. By the time you add the handling fees and them changing the, the way they calculate, um, the minimum weight, the dimensional weighting. So uh, everybody should have got an email if you're an Amazon seller. So it's uh, it's a lot to digest. It doesn't go into effect till February 22nd, I believe. So we've got some time to digest that. But what I mean by thinking and planning is it's a good time to sit back and just think about you know how, how this year's gone, wins, losses. It's important you know to celebrate victories, but it's also important to to understand things you could have done better and you know what can you do this year to 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 correct correct mistakes and create opportunities this year um, write some goals down um, and then when you write those goals down write three or four tactics with it put some timelines on them I know everybody uh, who's ever taken a business class and those are supposed to be smart goals uh, Hell, I forget what all that is, but it's they need to be realistic, they need to be attainable, they need to be measurable, time bound, and I think specific, I'm not sure. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've had to spew all that stuff out. But just they need to be things you can you can measure so you can tell how how, how am I doing towards this goal? Um, don't be afraid to change up your business plan. You know, I am I am in the middle of trying to figure out exactly what next year is gonna look like. Probably for the first half, it's gonna look exactly the same or pretty close, except for a little heavier eBay. I didn't do a lot of eBay early on. A lot of my off weeks, the time that I was not on the road, I spent a lot of time just goofing off. And I really need to I figure if I can get these results at 30%, what happens when the bigger picker goes, oh my God, he's putting in 70%. So that's, that's really my effort is to push myself to be more disciplined to work instead of getting easily distracted. So uh, 
you know, there won't be another move, so that'll help. The only move will be to the building. And I've already shot this video once, and I talked about the building a lot. It kind of pisses me off, so I'm not going to let the building derail me. I'm probably still 10 days out from having it fully completed. So that's why I'm on the road now, instead of setting up and... But I'm going to try to do some more how-to videos. I think those are very useful, so when I set up my inventory system, I will go over it with you guys and show you exactly how I'm setting up the, the eBay system. And if there's any inventory, any Amazon system, I'll show that as well. But there's, I don't do a lot of merchant fulfilled, so there's not, there's only got like three items right now. So there's not a lot to, but yeah, that's it. I spent, left the house at noon today and got to the hotel here at nine. So good on a solid nine hours work. And now with UPS being closed tomorrow, you're probably thinking, what in the hell are you going to do with all that stuff? Your van is completely full. Uh, there are several places that will take UPS packages, one of them being Staples, and they will take them on Saturdays, they'll take them on whenever. So, I'm actually going to probably be up till 3 o'clock tonight processing all 13 of these boxes. Will I send all 13 of them off tomorrow? No. Uh, but there are certain items that are just large, so all the large items, they don't have any stickers on them, so all the large items, are, you know, I'm just going to stack them up in here, count them throw them in the inventory lab and other print the labels out. It's, it'd be pretty quick and painless. And uh, I generally do not weigh boxes. When I'm on the road, I don't carry a scale because you have to pay for a minimum weight anyway. So I just put the minimum, the, the weight that the box has to be. And that, that saves me from bringing a scale. In the future, uh, I'm actually gonna take a trip to Las Vegas. I'm trying to plan a trip where I'm gonna be gone four to five weeks. Um, was a vacation in the middle and so I'm planning on doing a lot more videos of just sightseeing and just interesting things that I run into versus me me in the car talking uh, so hopefully that's something you can look forward to uh, let's see what else am I doing but anyway out in Vegas I'm going to ASD it's a wholesale trade show clearance trade show Sorry, the computer's kind of loud. Uh, it's getting an email right now. I just plugged it in. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, there's that to look forward to. After ASD, my wife is going to fly into Vegas and spend six or seven days. We're going to go to L.A. and then San Diego, and then she's going to fly back home from San Diego. And then I'll take another 10 to 14 days to wander from California back to Alabama. So, just kind of trying to put all that in my mind. She's having some back issues, and they've told her she might need a fourth back surgery. If that's the case, ignore everything I said. She comes first. So I'll have to do whatever I need to do to stay around stay around Huntsville in order to support her and and everything she needs because back surgery is not a lot of fun in case you haven't known anybody goes through it. So uh, a lot of pain, rehab. It's just, it's just not a pretty picture. Boy, we're praying that doesn't happen, but we're... We're, we're glad she's got good doctors and we're glad we've got, she's got people sh that we trust so and uh so we're okay with that so anyway so just look at your whole business in general is there something you can do better you know it's you know everybody it's not hiring somebody it's not can you improve your processes you know if you're not constantly thinking about how i can do things better how you know is there a, is there a better way uh, spend some time, pick somebody on YouTube you like. You don't have to agree with everything you say. You don't have to be a fanboy. You don't have to be in that kind of stuff. But just because somebody's personality you might not like or you can always learn something from what they do. And, uh, you know, maybe something they say will strike a, um, just a kind of a chord, a spark in your mind, something. Um, I was actually watching a YouTube se uh, reseller who sells clothes, and she was talking about something the other night, you, reselling on YouTube or something. And honestly, I was just bored, so I was just kind of watching just for having something to do. And just to hear her take on YouTube, and and she mentioned a an app, VidIQ. Um, it's an extension, and it gives you a lot of information about 
behind the scenes of YouTube and all those kind of things. And I went down a rabbit hole, installed it, and did all that kind of stuff and spent <laughs> the next day and a half messing with this and just trying to see how I can do YouTube better, how I can can uh, try to help people more just by letting them know, hell, I'm out here. I don't think there are too many people who are driving around the country in a van buying clearance and and selling this on on Amazon and doing videos to tell you that they're doing it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be more, more teacher oriented next year where, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to carry a camera with me and then, you know, I'll have it film the, the screen and all the stuff I'm doing. And another idea I had was to, uh, each video. So for every day I do a video, I'm going to find a, an item that, that anyone can go pick up and make money on. So if it's a Walmart or if it's a Walgreens, whatever it is, uh, I'm gonna find one or two items each day, you know, the items of the day. You know, I'll set up some minimum, minimum parameters, you know, they make minimum 30%. Uh, and the profit's gotta be at least five or eight dollars. I, I don't know what I'll put on there, but so, so just showing people that that you can find these products and these things and these are replenishables every day. You just uh, you gotta look. So there's that. And I'm just throwing up some other ideas in my head. I've got, I really need brakes on the Sienna. It's got 60,000 miles and the brake, the rotors are warped. So I'm gonna put a camera there and hey, record me changing the brakes. <laughs> I'll try not to cuss. Let's see. Just lots of stuff like that. Uh, and a lot of the products that I buy um, are clearance items and hard to find. And so it might be hard to find a review and that kind of stuff. The camera's moving. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to hold it up and I'm tired. And so I'm going to do some do some reviews or have my wife do some reviews because some of the stuff I can't I can't use and she does. It's, I've had some lotions and some other things. So, But she gets a lot of returns. <laughs> so, uh, you know crush box or whatever you know it's there's nothing wrong with some of the stuff so uh so yeah there's that try to think of some other things if you have any ideas any things you want to see um you know i'm in that stage right now where i'm just trying to plan different things and come up with different ideas so uh just uh leave me a message in the comments below saying saying hey scott can you cover this or can you we'd like to see you do that um within reason not illegal even though I do enough illegal stuff by myself. I don't need help with that. Um, let's see. I'm also, I've been bad about using the description down below to, you know, I, I use a lot of specific tools that I have come to, come to rely on on the road. So um, I actually learned how to do affiliate links, which is, which you know they're they're pretty painless. They don't cost me anything, and they direct somebody directly to a product that I use. And uh, so I'm gonna start putting the the something in the description about these are the things I use, like the Dymo Four XL, um, the box cutter. A lot of people, not a box cutter, but a box resizer. You know, a lot of people look at you crazy, and go, "What the hell's a box resizer?" And just a lot of tools. And I will do a better job this year of just showing them in use. What else am I? But I've just been brainstorming. Got this is very healthy stuff, guys. Just you know, what what are you doing now? How can you make it better? Are there some things you need to cut out? Um, is there some some things that are just a waste of time? You know, I've always been of the mindset that even if it makes a couple dollars, if I got a bunch of them, hell, I'll go ahead and send them in. But the time factor, you can't get time back, and the, just the time, you know. So I'm gonna up my minimum profit per item I haven't come to a, an understanding in my head my head my personalities haven't agreed with each other to what the amount is yet but and it's just gonna be set in stone like like 99% of any items I get I won't buy if I don't have a 50% return which means if I if I spend a dollar it's got to make 50 cents and uh, I'm thinking of upping that maybe to 60% just and then up in the minimum profit amount. So uh, with a list of exceptions, you know, just something that I can operate by so it's much easier to look at an item and go, 
instead of spending time thinking and wondering what would have happened, just, hey, it doesn't meet your criteria, hey, let's go. So, there's just, we can all do things better. I'm the world's worst uh, when it comes to organization, so that's one of the things I'm really keen on this year is just starting this year off right with the organization. And it's important when you're on the road and when you're doing things, especially long term, you know, I could be on the road this week for 10, 10 days. So uh, it's really important to be organized and unfortunately I struggle with that. So, but the one thing I'll tell you is tomorrow is a new year. We're only a couple hours away from a new year. By the time a lot of you watch this, it'll be a new year. And it's a good time. Most, most studies and most academics will tell you that you need to do something for 21 days in order for it to be a habit. So the start of the year is very measurable time when you can say, hey, I'm going to start doing this now. And, but you've got to have thought about it and come up with it. So it's a good time of the year to, you know, come up with some ideas. Um, if, you can't, if you don't have any, hell, ask somebody. Um, ask somebody's opinion. You know, tell them, hey, I do this. What do you have some ideas I can get better? Hell, drop me some questions down in the comments below. I will absolutely do my best to answer it. And if I can't figure it out or I don't know an answer, I'll point you to somebody I trust who will who was better in that area, and they'll give you an answer. So um, I just wanted to take the time to wish each and every one of you a happy New Year's. Uh, thank you for your support for watching this channel, uh, the uh, Fat Bearded Man in a Van. Uh, take on that road trip uh, to Vegas. I'm even thinking about spending a couple of nights in the van. <laughs> Just to say I did it. Yeah, that's that I watch a lot of these van videos and that's a craze going on now, so that ought to be interesting. I guess some good video of me with a CPAP on. That's awesome. I know you guys are looking forward to that. So I would definitely need a battery pack. And a heavy duty air mattress to hold up the big fella. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh again say thanks and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh how some of y'all never meet, but I, that's the other thing. Um, I travel so much. Um, I think it's important to more to stop and smell the roses. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to take some time to meet more people. And, uh, it's a, even if it's just a, just a break bread, share a meal. Um, it's very nice to, you know, really actually in person have physically met and known some and know someone that you're talking to on the computer. It's, as a different dimension, it really kind of solidifies the, the online stuff. So I'm going to look forward to that this year. But um, in the comments below, tell me what you guys are thinking. Have you guys been thinking of things to do different? Have you thought of things you can improve? Things, I, Any ideas, good, bad, or ugly? Hey, drop some down there. You never know. Your idea may spur me or somebody else who reads a comment to go, you might change somebody's life. You just, you just, you just never know the effect you had. You know, here I am on Amazon, and selling Amazon because, as I was teaching Sunday school one day, one of the guys in class said, "Who sells? Who sells on eBay and Amazon?" Looked at me and said, "How come you don't sell on Amazon?" And I, look, I had to look at him and tell him, "Never considered. Never really even thought about it. Much. Never even really ordered. Done much with Amazon at all." And he proceeded to tell me about Amazon FBA, and he said, man, that, this got you written all over it. And we were heading on vacation the next week. And so I spent four or five days watching videos um, and had already signed up and was doing FBA within 10 days. And now look. So, you know, almost $1.5 million in sales on Amazon in three years. It's just absolutely amazing that the, that somebody asked a simple question. So there's never never a bad question, never a simple question, because you never know the profound effect and that that has on your life. And I, I appreciate him asking that question this day because it it changed me. It changed a lot of things I do. It's made a lot of things possible. And that that's a, that was a just because he asked a question. It's pretty cool. So uh, like, comment, subscribe and especially comment um tell me what you're thinking um if there's something especially if there's something you would like to see me do how can i help you because i know a lot of people go man i'd love to go source and travel sources like you do i hear that all the time and uh so 
So ask him some questions, Tina. You can do this and stay in a two or three hour area. I mean, there's still a lot of my tools you can use. So uh, I'm gonna end this video. It'll be 2018 when you guys see it. So happy new year and uh, look forward to a lot more interaction. Uh, again, thanks for everything you guys do. Bearded Picker out.